when I was a little kid, man, like, I guess the scariest thing in the world for me was, like, a lot of things scared me, but, like, the scariest thing was, like, death. Yeah. Enrique from Milwaukee Oats, it's a little uh, t-shirt company I started a while ago. It's just a little movement, like little. We create culture because there's a lot. There's not a lot of people in Milwaukee who's like who are actually doing something cool. Like they got a, they got a huge platform and they're kind of like they're kind of directing the youth in the wrong way. You know, it's just it's kind of sad. All the wrong way. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like, I know. I know exactly what I mean. That's why we linked up and shit. Like, oh, but I knew him since I was like 16, bro. And we just never really talked like that. And I don't know. One day we was just vibing with each other, and I was like, "Yeah, man, I, I hear everything you saying, and you understand everything I'm saying." So like, yeah, man, it's just link up. You know, we don't really do too much, you know, things together, but things we support support each other's movement. And like that shit don't really happen a lot here. I could have easily looked at him like, "Oh, this nigga's competition and shit." Like, I can't, I can't be like, let me just try to take him out or something like that. It was like, no, nah, bro, like. We got the same goals, same vision, so might as well just do this shit together, but on, on separate, in separate ways. But that's why we, you know, we plan on collaborating, collaborating real soon and shit. Everything we do, you know what I'm saying, we kind of tell each other, we share, share our ideas. I'm pretty sure it sparks inspiration in him. Or whatever he says to me, it sparks inspiration for me and shit, you know what I mean? I feel like if we wasn't to do this shit, like, it would just get taken over by some whack-ass motherfucker dog, and, like, the, the, norm would, the norm would be a bunch of fucking weak, weak motherfuckers, like, it, it, they've been taking over the A. <laughs> they really are, dog. They're starting to take over, bro. It's like, all the fake shit in the world is what's real and normal now and shit, and us real niggas, when we, when we out and shit, like, when we doing real shit, people don't understand it, because they they're just so used to all this fucking... Negativity and lies and people just fake news, dog. We don't got time for that anymore, bro. We older now, dog. You can go to MilwaukeeOats.com or on Instagram at MilwaukeeOats. The, the shit that's going on in Milwaukee, like, like Milwaukee already has this little top pick of people who they fuck with and shit. And they go, they're like, I feel like they leave all the rest of us in the dark and shit. And like, man, fuck that, dog. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. I've been doing this shit for too long, bro, and I got the talent. And and it needs, it needs to be seen. Like, don't nobody fucking. It, the, the world just need to know about that shit because it ain't like I just want to be famous just to be famous. Like, I want to be famous because I got something I got to share with the world and shit. And then people like, people like me. And I feel like I make them think about think differently than they they normally do. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, if they ain't giving me my fucking attention, like maybe I should I should make them give it to me. Maybe Milwaukee ain't the right like the right platform and shit. Like a lot of things here are just simple and shit. Like I don't think nobody really does does too much, bro. I don't think they think about. It. Uh, like, like after they get home from work, like what you do, what do you do when you get home from work? You got something that you got of your own that you're working on. So I feel like I even got my job just because, like, I need something to help provide for my clothing and my fucking my art. It's mainly my art, but like, like lately it's been with, with clothes because I've been kind of doing. I think I can make some good clothes. <laughs> I've been influenced by like people who do new shit. Like back in the day, I used to listen to a lot of Kanye and just watch his interviews. And he used to always talk about this like pink polo and like, oh, I had these backpacks. But I remember back in the day, everybody used to wear these long white tees and like Jabot jeans and like Air Force Ones. Like, yeah, that that stuff was cool back then. Air Force Ones are still cool, but 
Like there needs to be some new shit that's going around because like we're not from the south. We never used to wear long t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now like everyone's wearing like clothes that fit them. And I feel like if we just we just keep it fashionable, keep it smooth, and just keep it with the urban, keep it keep it true to ourselves. Let's make it more common. Like I feel like these people who have like a big platform where it's like bummy ass shit, and then people who aren't as cool, like see them, they're like, oh look what they're wearing. I'm gonna get that. And then I look at him, I'm like, man, that's so corny. Exactly, bro, like, I fucking love Kanye, bro, but you see his new clothes he came out with, bro, just like oversized sweaters and shit for like $1,500, bro, like, what you doing, bro? Is that, that's fashion, bro? I could just buy a big-ass fucking sweater and, and stretch it. That's what it just looks like, stretched and washed already, like, what is you doing, bro? You doing what I'm doing right here. I'm probably even colder, like. I ain't got the, I ain't got every, like, the fucking out, mm. outlet and shit or the platforms to do this shit. Look till I get that shit, bro. There's so many people who got money and shit, and I be like, and they doing normal ass shit, bro. You see them at the club and shit, like, the club ain't for people to celebrate, it's for sad people. <laughs> like, everyone's at the club, they, they, they upset with their life, they got to go to work and shit. Like, ain't, like, they all happy there, but it ain't. That's, that's just on the surface, bro, like. If, if I had the money, I would not be at no fucking club trying to pop bottles and try to fuck these bitches here. Cause they ain't, that ain't, that ain't even what it's about, bro. It's about, it's about fucking, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I'm trying to find out, but the thing is, y'all ain't even, y'all ain't even bothering. I feel like I get closer and closer every day and people actually think I know what I'm living for, but I don't think anybody really does, but... I didn't know this shit drives me. All this shit. Look at my paint right now. Look, look at this shit. Besides the paint, this shit. I thought about making interesting quotes after watching the Radiant Child, the the John Michelle Basquiat documentary, and like I don't know. Even his painting style, like I liked his paintings, but they're like they're not. It's not hard shit to paint. You know what I mean, like. But the nigga was a genius. I think people just saw that shit already. Like, they already liked the kind of person he was. And like, I feel like I, I be having that same shit. Like, the nigga became a millionaire within a year. He was homeless. He was homeless though. Like, this nigga just, he ran away from home and not even because like, like, oh shit, like, fuck this life. It was really was like, fuck this life. But like, he had it good, better than most people. His father was an accountant and shit. He was, they had, they had some straight money, he just didn't want to, I guess he didn't want to be, become cousin to the, the system. So he just wanted to do his own thing. And, you know, I think that, that drive and determination just like, it found its own way for him and shit. The nigga became a millionaire within a year. And it's just like, man, I could do that. I could do that, bro. Like, he really believed in himself and like sometimes it's really hard. As much as I say I believe in myself, that shit hard. That's that shit's really hard. Like after a while, this shit gets to you. Like you like aren't really doing the right thing. But shit, like what el what else am I do? Am I just gonna be like whatever? I'm just gonna not not try. I couldn't I couldn't do that shit. was missing right now and I think it's culture yeah I think it's just culture man I feel like there's everything is like everybody's so set to like stuck rules like things have to be this way and things have to be like that and it's just like why man why can't it just be like free-flowing and shit because that's those are the most creative individuals the me man like I might be unorganized and all this other shit but like I feel like I'm one of the most creative people I know. <laughs> I might be the most creative person I do know. Taking it to the streets is just like demanding your attention. Like man, there's there's billboards on the street dog and there's like there's fucking there's all kinds of shit you see every day. There's signs for everything. That shit's that like it's it's there for a reason. It's like visual litter just clogging up your head and like you like let's, yeah just like you, you would think about the McDonald's sign that you just passed on 27th or something like that like why and shit like 
why, why can't I just, like, instead of y'all, you think about that, you can think about me. And I can just brain, brainwash everybody and just take over them. Or not like, even brainwash them. Look at your quote, like, that's a positive-ass quote. Yeah, if Somebody man. saw that instead of, like, at like McDonald's. Have, yeah, they have some people thinking shit, man. And, like, that's the thing, too, is, like, that quote was an abstract thought. You know what I mean? Like, and it was so true. Like, it was, like, it, it was, they say love heals. And I'm like, then why these niggas be hating? <laughs> like, why you hate them? Why does anybody hate? Why do you hate anybody, dog? I feel like even if I had the, the opportunity to kill my worst enemy, like, I would let that nigga live. Like, I don't even know why. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, I, robbed, I robbed him the joy of life or something. Like, like, like bro, you need a lot a lot more to learn than I, like, than me killing you wouldn't even do nothing. I mean, I don't know, maybe that makes me a lot different than some people, bro. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always want someone to learn, even if I fucking hated them. I think if I hated them, I wanted them to learn even more. It's so weird. Don't save my heart, I'm in the booth where I make my heart, man, rest in peace, let's see, rest in peace, Joey, rest okay, in man, peace. Like, I guess the scariest thing in the world for me, was, like, a lot of things scared me, but, like, the scariest thing was, like, death, like, I think that's it still scares a lot of people this day, like, I used to be just scared of, like, what happens afterwards, not really death itself, but what happens afterwards, like, is it just... Am I just dead? Is it just lights out? And shit? I remember asking my mom, and mom said, Oh no, you either go to heaven or you go to hell. But you know, like, <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to be like, I don't, I don't ever want to die. Like, I just want to be immortal. And, like, it was super, when I found out what that word immortal meant, I was like, Oh shit, that's, <laughs> like, that's what I want to what I want to be. But I, like, when, then I got older, I found out no one really becomes. Immortal, it's like that's a god thing. And even, even God's like just an energy force. But like, fucking man, like I started reading things and it was just like there's a lot of humans that really left their mark on this earth. Like, like Michael Jordan, you ain't never gonna forget about Michael Jordan. People that like even his shoes, like it, there's little things he left behind. It's almost like Harry Potter and his Horcruxes. He leaves his things that like. That keep that like live for him. He could separate everything and shit. Like Jordan got his shoes, and people don't even. If I never seen Jordan pay, play basketball and buy his shoes. Cause like there's things that he did on this earth that like nobody's ever gonna forget. And that and, and that way he's immortal. I was like, like bro, like I want to be like that. Like I know I can, but I was like, what do what do I gotta do? That's I think that's why I go so hard with this shit. Those are like ideas that like spark other ideas. Remember there was like a Tupac quote that says like, I know I might not change the world, but I'll spark the mind that does. Yeah. And that kind of goes with that, right? Yeah. And if you see a pair of Jordans, you're like, damn, how can I be like that? And you'll do some crazy stuff. Right when you went so peak and shit, please understand my reason and the king see this what I said. Inspiration comes from anything, uh, I don't think people know that shit. I was like, oh, uh, like, People were like, I wish I could paint. I'm like, why don't you? <laughs> it was as simple as going and buying paint, paint brushes and a canvas. And it was just like, well, I don't know how to draw. And I'm like, well, I didn't know how to draw that good that either. You know? But like, people say, no, you do good. Like, man, that shit takes practice, dog. You think just because I be smiling all the time and shit, like, I'm just this happy painting ass nigga, that like, oh shit, life is all fucking smiles and shit, like, Nah, this shit be fucking, there's some days, man, I just want to quit or I just want to cry and shit or like, I'm like, I'm going, I feel like I'm going crazy and shit. Like, it's just like, it's real hard to like, do. should I just keep that shit? Or like, should I just keep doing it? It's just like, yeah, I should. Y'all, y'all heard about, heard about that new UFC girl champion? Yeah, uh, Ronda Rousey, whatever. She's been like whooping everybody ass in the ring. But I, I watched this interview with her, right? And like, they're like asking her, like, like what was, you know, like how her life was back then, like her struggle with the struggle and shit. And she, you know, she didn't really know what to say, but she was just like describing all the things she was doing. She, she had like three jobs. She had this like. 2000 something Honda Civic like window broken all that shit and she's saying it's just like everything she did she made sure she went to the gym and tried her hardest but then they're like saying like how like what about life now like 
and like comparing it to them, she's like, you know, like now I think about it's like real nostal nostalgic how simple it was. Like just to go to work every day and all that stuff. She's like, it, now I have to make different decisions. I, it's not as easy as just, oh, I have to go to work. And like, I think that's a lot of, like those simple decisions is like why everybody has a job because it's the easy way out. You know what I'm saying? Like it is simple. It's not as hard as like trying to actually do something and become sex successful. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe a lot of people just like, you know, just, I, I really do just want to go to work and they don't really think about it. Just nobody trusts themselves. It's like they had to trust like somebody telling them how to live their life. I couldn't do that. It is hard, bro. I mean, like, I know it is tough. That's why you have emotions, but that's what makes you like, a well-rounded person. Yeah. That's what makes you creative, you know? Like, if, I bet like all the people who actually done something had adversity, you know? It's like the Rose like Ruth and Crown Creek. That's like another Tupac quote. Yeah. It's crazy though. Like, it's like I could easily get a job and just live normal and have a couple dollars in my pocket. But I'd rather have like a bunch of experience and have no dollars in my pocket. You know what I mean? Like whenever I go out, like I'll spend a lot of money just <laughs> but just to have fun though, like like I'd rather have fun than have like you know what I mean, like a nice bank account. That I'm all about the dream, cream fiend for a better scene. Nah, me. Something seems right when I spit it in the mic. Feel it when I rice it in there. Nice, still loud with the light, shine with a bright beam. Blinded you niggas, I am like hot beam. Dream about life, so I'm fantasizing. Red eyes everywhere I go, don't need no visine. Just give me the light, and I'ma pass the draw. Ask the hoe, and then floating with an ass go. Young nigga got assassin flow, the passion though. I'm all up in the booth with my platinum bros. Just trying to live a life where they say we'll never make it, then they want us to separate. Like we're segregated, but them niggas is talking too much, and all they do is. Hate it when I smoke, I live off the ground. It's like I'm levitated. Been smoking so long, it's just a part of my life. But don't think that I won't go harder in life. It's just the start of my life. Fuck them wrongs, I'ma do right. Fuck them wrongs, I'ma do right. Made the smoke out of Rello. Going to heaven, I heard heaven got a ghetto. When I'm living right now for this life, I never settle. Why I spit on this and metals, all the bullshit got a Lego. From the smoke out of Rello. Going to heaven, I heard heaven got a ghetto. When I'm living right now for this life, I never settle. Why I spit on this and metals, all the bullshit got a Lego. Life never what it's supposed to be. Never, never. Just together with the rosary. Shit on your life if you think you were supposed to me. So watch how you approaching me. Watch. World cold, yeah, frozen me. I think I need a dose of weed. And my loved ones close to me. Shit goes how it goes to me. Think you my niggas, but y'all niggas ain't no real broke to me. Saying fuck what the others say. Hit the bluff and the suffocate. Every day is a new day. So I know I'll see another day. If not this way, some other way. Man, they can see my vacancy. My daughter is my legacy. My downfall where they Beg to see, but y'all gon' have to beg to see my nigga Feel the smoke, got a rello Going to heaven, I heard heaven, got a ghetto When I'm living right now, for this life I never settle I spit on this, the metals, all the bullshit got a Lego Feel the smoke, got a rello Going to heaven, I heard heaven, got a ghetto When I'm living right now, for this life I never settle I spit on this, the metals, all the bullshit got a Lego Born around the same time as Final Fantasy 3 from Roblox A9 Where they serving all the junkies It look just like what you see in a fucking movie Say you ask me about my pops Well I don't know nothing in and out My life while me and mom struggling My auntie worry about knees instead of taking care of my cousins No, so with thoughts we plan burning Throw the block hot like a furnace You don't see spec you had to earn it, girl. Streets they teaching us nothing. I had to get away and learn something. I had to get away and learn something. For the smoke, got a rello. Going to heaven, I heard heaven, got a ghetto. When I'm living right now, for this life, I never settle. I spit on this and metals, all the bullshit got a Lego. For the smoke, got a rello. Going to heaven, I heard heaven, got a ghetto. When I'm living right now, for this life, I never settle. I spit on this and metals, all the bullshit got a Lego. Yeah.